afternoon. I'm Steve, Product Manager for Heidelberg Post Press, and this is... I'm Kurt, I'm with Product Specialist. And here we're going to talk about another folding opportunity on your TH folder. Sometimes you have to create a pamphlet where you have a perforation and there's a little card that you want to perf out. Like in this instance, we perfed in the first station, so we have that perf. And then on the second station, we have a time perforation where we created the L perf so we can pull this out of the sheet. Now normally you would have to do this on a, on a die cutter and have another process within the folding process, but Heidelberg's come up with an in ingenious idea. Now what do you think that's called, Kurt? EAP. EAP. Now we'll talk a little bit about EAP. So Kurt, in the second station, what can we do with these EAP heads? Uh, you can perf or trim. So you can perf or trim. So that makes it easy to set up jobs like this. Or for instance, if you had a window that you wanted to cut out, on the first station, we could have the AP heads cut out the side, come in the second station, cut out the other side, and blow out the window so we'd have another way of doing a die cut window within a piece. Now, how do we do that? Well, basically, the first thing you would decide whether you're perfing or trimming is you can release the lever and then the heads can be operated on individually as far as changing out the blades for a perf or a, or a trim blade. And what are we what, what are we scoring a perfing against? Well, perfing is down, done down below, and that's on a plastic collar. It looks just like a cutting stick off your cutter, mm -hmm. but it's round. And you start from the edge, and you just work your way across as it gets a little dull. So in other words, to set this up, how would you set the timing up with our controller? Well, that's really simple, surprisingly simple. You have a photo sensor on the end feed. Okay. So you set the time from what the photo sensor sees it to when you start the perf. Okay. And then the time for how long the perf is going to be for. So it's pretty simple. All we're doing is giving it a time for the start point and it's in an ending point to set yes. up in the controller. Okay, up here we have the pneumatics with the MAC valve. Here is for the head, and it just, you time the strokes as far as when it comes down, meets the product, comes back up. And there is no decline in production speeds. It'll keep up with however you're running the folder at. And then we use these little nylon blocks down below uh, for perforation. And it works just like a cutting stick. You start from the end, and when you wear them out and wear them all the way across, you throw them out and you get a new one. So we could have typically multiple perfs with, on one sheet with time space in between. Yes. And we and would have three styles of heads. There's sure. single up, two up, and a multi head. It's actually about 75 millimeters across, so you could do multiple, multiple perf plays real close together. So it's not only just doing a perf in one location on the sheet, but we could have multiple heads up on the bar and do multiple applications at the same time. Correct. So, folks, there's another way to add more profit to the bottom line. Now, if you have a folder that's out there, this is an easy option to add onto the folder to give you other capacity in your shop besides taking this over to a die cutter, then bringing it over to a folder just to do a letter fold. So here's another chance to add more value to your folding uh, equipment in your shop. My name's Steve. Kurt. And this was Folding Times. Thanks for showing up.